Welcome to the final episode of the ATC restoration. So let's just jump straight in and get the project finished. My first job is to prepare the fuel tank for use again. So what I'm doing is filling the tank with Deox C to remove all the rust and grime and when that's done its job in a few hours time I will show you the next step. In the meantime let's crack on with all the other jobs. I was unable to source an original tail light, so I've got this aftermarket LED one that is very close to the original size and look. In order to fit the light, I need to make a new bracket as this is all that's left of the original one. A few moments later
we are. One nice shiny new bracket. All I have to do now is give it a quick coat of gloss black and then we can fit it. Now back to the tank. It's been left overnight for the rust eater to do its job thoroughly. And as you can see by the colour of the water coming out, it's done its job well. Now all I need to do is rinse and dry it and we will be ready for the next stage. Now that the inside of the tank is back to bare steel, it will corrode very quickly unless we seal it. That's where this tank sealer comes in. It seals the steel and is obviously resistant to fuel too. So, let's crack on with it.
So the resin in the tank has now hardened and formed a protective layer over all the bare steel. However, I can't add fuel just yet as the resin is only partially cured. If I add fuel just now, the resin will go all gummy and it will just ruin the inside of the tank again. So I can still fit the tank, but I just can't add fuel for a couple of days yet. You're probably wondering how I stopped the resin filling up the fuel ports. Easy. That was achieved by a couple of bits of wire the correct size and with a little bit of grease, voila. The ports are still fully open and fully usable. So, nice little top tip there for you if you're ever attempting this job. And there we go, that's one for reserve. And let's go and fit the tank.
Now that the restoration is complete, I think it's time to pour a drink, sit back, relax and enjoy the view. Although, all of a sudden, I have the strange urge to build a canoe. So I really hope you've enjoyed this project, even though it took far longer to complete than I ever could have imagined. But, looking at the results, I'd say it was well worth the wait. I hope you will join me next time for the start of another big restoration project, and as always, if you could subscribe, like and leave a comment, it would really help me out. Also, don't forget to check out my Patreon page, where patrons get access to behind the scenes footage, regular project updates and lots of other bits and bobs relating to the channel. Stay safe, and I will see you all again very soon.